Hello ITPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard and we're going to review Wessex Campaign Flake. Dark Brown Virginia, full body and smooth is what it says on the back. I just got this tin. Let's open it up and give it a look. What? I already opened it. I'm going to need to let this dry before I smoke it, but there you go nice flakes all right let's let it dry and load it up all right i'm back and i'm smoking it whoop sorry wessex campaign flake beautiful day oh my goodness just got back from a local brewery Came out with a new beer that I just loved. Real fan of the Saison. I think that's where it was. Um, so this is an all Virginia. Yep, that's all it says in it. You're kind of getting some uh, roastier notes. <coughs> Um, not like dark fired roasty, uh, and you're not, not tasting like dark fruit, kind of, uh, darker flavors, just kind of like, it definitely tastes like, uh, all Virginia. Uh, in the flavor. Any hay is pretty faint, but it is there. Um, just taste Virginia's. You know, there is a little bit of uh, citrus in it, but it, again, it's faint. The overall whelming feeling is um, darker Virginia's. Enjoyable smoke. Um, this one seems to be hard to find. Uh, trying to get it, you have to put yourself on the mail list and jump on it right away. It's gone. So I think that speaks for the blend uh, itself. Smoking this in a Mark Tinsky blasted billiard. He says he sends these out to be blasted by somebody else. Um, I think initially I asked if he could do this pipe in green and he couldn't. He didn't have green. So he suggested golden and I went with it, that's fine. And I was kind of, eh, initially I'm buying the pipe, but man, I, it's really grown on me. Yeah, I don't know, it just tastes darker Virginia's, quality, quality Virginia's, really good. No bad flavors. Not tasting uh, any uh, tingling on the tongue, bite type thing. Smooth. I'm not sure what makes a Virginia dark uh, per se, but it tastes like a darker Virginia. Really enjoyable if you like Virginia's. Um, tasty blend. Uh, I was kind of expecting darker flavors, maybe plummy and um, something like that. Not getting that, not getting a Perique. 
uh, dark fired, burly, any of that, just Virginias. Real pleasant, pleasant, pleasant tasting. <sighs> yeah, so this weekend is uh, hopefully great for everyone. This uh, sun, I'm just loving it. Uh, it's only like 63 degrees out, but with no wind, literally no wind. Now uh, there's, there's some. Uh, it's just super relaxing, super refreshing. Gonna have to mow the lawn here at some point. Went out to a brewery and played some board games. It's kind of funny with board games, uh, more modern ones, semi-modern ones. You know, we were playing Carcassonne, which is really not that modern of a game. It came out in 2001, so it's like 20 years old now. Still a modern game, but not. New release, I should say. Someone noticed it and reached out, and we're talking board games, and it's like, well, I can talk about board games all until your face is blue, or all you guys are bored. Done that before, um, but it was really nice. Uh, we'll play Carcassonne and Doplet so clever. And um, throw back some local brewery beers, and we could sit outside in the sun. Awesome, awesome day. It's nice when you can responsibly uh, leave the kids at home and uh, be able to trust them. We have good kids. Um, but um, enjoying this uh, Virginia this is definitely uh, I would say I'm going to generally enjoy this in the, the sun the warmer weather it's not that dark uh, date flavor I'd say this is kind of you have dark medium and light this is more of the medium I, it's really giving me grassiness um, in the flavor. Grassy Virginia uh, with some darker, darker notes. I don't think I've tasted a uh, tobacco like this to compare it to. Um, but I, I really enjoy it. It's good. Definitely, we get some, get some and try it if you're a Virginia fan. Planning, uh, putting some things together to do a gaw. I'm, I've been kind of cool on the idea of gauze. You know, I feel like if you keep throwing gauze, you're gonna get a lot of subscribers. But that's not really a reason why I want subscribers. I just kind of want to give back to the subscribers that have uh, supported me. And so I'm kind of in the process of purchasing some th things to give away. Not because any of you guys have asked for it, but because I kind of want to do it. Last giveaway I did was uh, last summer. And uh, I wanted to do some a little bit more special giveaway. Um, so I'm trying to plan that out and figure that out. It'll probably be a, a month away, but I um, thought I might mention that. And, you know, I don't know, I might open it up and just let it be a while that people can subscribe to or participate in the go up because uh, some of these things might take a while to get. So we'll see. Everyone have a beautiful weekend, a wonderful Memorial Day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye.